Hello, my name is Megan Farraher and I will be presenting this environmental impact statement about natural gas pipelines from the perspective of a consultant in the environmental field. I am going to be talking specifically about the Northeast Natural Gas Pipeline expansion. Currently, the Northeast Natural Gas Pipeline system works to deliver natural gas to providers who are in need of its supply. It flows primarily to those areas where it is in most demand. The pipelines do not reach the more rural areas throughout the Northeast region, and a lot of money is currently being spent transporting gas to these more remote locations. If natural gas is not transported, then coal plants are used to produce synthetic gases. The project propo proposed seeks to create more pipelines that will increase the access to natural gas. The idea for this expansion is largely due to the growing demand for this resource. I would like to argue in favor of this project for a few different reasons. First of all, it is important to expand pipeline access because the benefits greatly outweigh the disadvantages. An interview with a consultant working on the project helps to explain that there are no immediate risks. The two focal points I will use to argue this point are environmental and health impacts. I will first discuss the positive environmental impacts. One major benefit is that New York and New England will have access to more natural gas, decreasing the price of gas consumed. Major gas companies in New England, such as Eversource, are seeing a rise in the amount of people who are unable to pay for their gas bill. Eversource has implemented an arrearage repayment program because of the amount of people who owe money to the company. New England has also implemented a law that states that gas companies cannot deny service to anyone during the winter months regardless of their ability to pay. While these are great programs, their existence demonstrates the overwhelming cost of gas. Cheaper gas means less of a burden on both customers and corporations. Customers will more easily be able to pay for their service and corporations will not lose money by keeping gas service to families who are unable to pay in the wintertime. Another environmental benefit is that pipelines transporting natural gas are safer for the environment than coal plants. Coal plants create an excess amount of pollution and add to the increasing rate of global warming. Natural gas emits less carbon dioxide into the air, which causes less of, an, less of an imminent threat to global warming. Additionally, providing greater access to natural gas creates a more uniform supply of gas, which will ultimately contribute to more uniform pricing. One of the disadvantages to this project is that the cost of installing the pipeline is expected to be more than the amount that it would, cost, that it would save customers in the long run. This can be viewed as an environmental threat because high taxes and economic hardship are a part of a person's environment. This may jeopardize the stability of a person's living situation by bringing about unexpected tax inflation. Another controversial matter is that the use of more natural gas will further deplete the Earth's resources and contribute to global warming. Natural gas is a safer and healthier alternative to burning coal or oil. It emits less harmful gases, which helps slow the spread of air and water pollution. While pollution and contamination will still occur, there will be less immediate risks to the health of affected communities. Burning coal adds to the amount of both sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide in the air. When mixed with precipitation, this can cause acid rain. Coal burning also creates a greater amount of particulate matter, which can be very detrimental to our health. Existing customers will see increased rates and stricter contracts to help fund the expansion of natural gas pipelines. It may be more cost effective in the long run, but will have significant effects on current customers. This is likely to cause psychological distress as those in low income households may be unable to afford the new rates. Global warming and climate change already contribute to a large percentage of illness and injury worldwide. As more resources are used, there is more danger placed on the health of the entire population. I would now like to look at an interview that I conducted with a woman who works as a consultant for a company called CVNI. This company plays a significant role in providing the technology through which natural gas is distributed. The company is involved with the expansion of the Northeast Pipeline because they collaborate with other organizations and agencies to provide gas and oil to their consumers. She advocated strongly for the expansion of the natural gas pipelines and said that it was something that needed to happen to keep up with the demand. When asked what some of the biggest challenges were, she said trying to convince the public of the benefits of the expansion due to the negative connotations the media often places on drilling projects. She stated that in order to address concerns from the public, they often send representatives to town hall meetings to answer questions and explain the project. As far as health risks, 
she was confident that there would be greater risk to the health of the community by continuing to use synthetic gas. This concludes my presentation on an environmental impact statement. Thank you for listening.